Howdy. So, before we get into this reading, can you do me a favor and let me know in the comments below how you are just doing, right? I really do want to know. I like to check in with my peeps. So, uh, let's just get into this reading, y'all. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading this week, uh, Sagittarius. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards resonate with you and how they do, Sagittarius, because that is how I keep up with y'all, is through the comments. Um, as well, Sagittarius, I would like to ask if you do enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe, Sagittarius, I'd be really appreciative of it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot, Sagittarius, and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way. Um, as well, Sagittarius, before we get into your weekly tarot reading, I just want to say that my weekly tarot cards, my weekly readings are just here to give you some advice, a perspective perspective for you to consider but never making the choice in your life because believe it's your life to live, not mine, not these tarot cards. Uh, Sagittarius, use your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. So I believe that my tarot cards here are just meant to give you some food for thought, a perspective to consider, but never making the choice in your life because it's your life to live, not mine, not these tarot cards, honey, nobody's Sagittarius. So with all that being said, let's get into your tarot reading. But actually first, I just want to preface uh, Sagittarius that I got my eyebrow pierced last week. Piercer said that I could potentially get a black eye uh, if I bruise easily, and so as you can see, apparently I start bruising easily, so uh, just so for anyone that's curious as I'm like my face is like all up in y'all's screen <laughs> what happened there right because it is a little bit swollen so this eye kind of looks like it's a little bit more shut um <laughs> from what I asked for though Sagittarius let's just get into your weekly reading so I pulled some tarot cards just so I could get an idea of what it is that you're currently going through Sagittarius and so I pulled the renewal card I feel like you actually got this card not too long ago Sagittarius actually uh Archangel Jerome <coughs> excuse me Archangel Jerome, number 20, equaling to 2 for numerology. So look up the number 2 for numerology to see how it correlates with your life at this time, Sagittarius, or just with this reading. Uh, but this card, Archangel Jerome, for those that are my Sagittarius that are open to working with angels, whatever your belief system is, if it subscribes to this, right? Archangel Jerome would be the perfect angel to be working with this week as well. Uh, but with the renewal card, I'll read it off. It says, the review in and evaluate, a favorable assessment of facts, time to move into a new direction, Sagittarius. And so you guys actually also got an extra card where it's the Page of Fire. Now, the Page of Fire is the Page of Wands in Normal Tarot. Um, this is my fresh start card for anyone that's not new to my channel. This card says, news of an exciting endeavor. Um new endeavor uh use your originality and ingenuity so very interesting to have this dynamic because you have the renewal card right you're starting something new going into a new direction starting a new journey right with something uh and then you have the page of fire where it's like the fresh start so right off the bat Sagittarius, you guys are probably uh, finishing up, tying up loose ends, right? I do get the sense of, I mean, very easily, I know it's kind of an easy thing to say, but I do see some of you Sagittarius is considering moving with the renewal card, time to move into a new direction. It could be talking just about like where it is you're directing your energy, right? But with the page of fire as well, where it's like a fresh start, it's really just, it's really just giving me this sense Sagittarius where it's like you're tying up loose ends, you're tying, uh, finishing up things that you needed to finish up before you go into a whole new uh, situation almost, right? And I kind of feel like this is something that you guys have been planning behind the scenes for yourself personally. Like, I don't feel like this is really coming in as a shock for any Sagittarius. I feel like you guys have been planning this for quite some time of where it's just like you're doing like your spring cleaning or you're doing, you're taking care of like your errands, right? And then once you take care of that final errand, 
then you're just it's like i can't help but feel like you're just adopting like a new life almost sagittarius or just like for some of you guys maybe let's i like to use examples just to give the message out uh sagittarius so let's just say before you're like a businessman right or a businesswoman right gender don't matter hello how are you doing but uh you were just heavy into business and now it feels like you're transitioning into something completely different like a bakery opening up a bakery i always like to say bakery maybe for some of you uh writing that finishing up that novel or that book that you always wanted to do but you just never had the time for uh definitely re reallocating your energies sagittarius <clears throat> So, with your clarifiers, uh, I pulled four cards for you. You have the Ace of Water or the Ace of Cups. You have the Four of Fire or the Four of Wands. You have the Four of Air or the Four of Swords. And then you have the Two of Earth or the Two of Pentacles. So, we, I, feel, I feel like we covered all the elements for you now. Fire, Wand then air earth yeah we did we got all the elements not that it matters this is me just making an observation but uh let's continue on with this uh journey for you sagittarius let's see here how we want to do we're going to start with the two of earth for you actually sagittarius and i'll read off the card this card says too much going on at once the need to make a decision uh consider a playful approach now with the two of earth or the two of pentacles this is a card usually where you're juggling and weighing things out trying to figure out what would be best and most fitting for you in your current situation uh sagittarius and so usually with the two of earth as well it's usually pretty chaotic so it's like one of those situations where it's just like <sighs> it leads me to believe where it's just like something's finally being addressed where it's just like you're finally needing to make a decision um because it's like certain events are like popping up for you where you're just like oh i don't really like this right so it's, you're kind of being forced to have to make a decision almost just through like what is being uh manifested through you having to just juggle all this at once uh sagittarius and so with the two of pentacles here though uh saying that to consider a more playful approach considering your other cards uh sagittarius i do feel like for some of you guys just the sense of being extremely tense even like my the, my right shoulder blade is just like feeling really tense and sore at this time it feels like some of you guys sagittarius because you maybe have just been in this survival mode for quite some time right uh you're just being told to uh lighten up right uh, if you're having to just let going into this new direction, go into this new direction with a lot more excitement, right? It's one of those things where it's just like someone would be like, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey, honey. And I do feel like it's this sense where it's just like, it's, I feel like you're having some bittersweet endings uh, with some stuff, Sagittarius. And just because it's ending though, doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It's just because it's opening up something new, right? You're starting fresh, right? With that page of fire, that new energy, you're welcoming in new energy you're going into a new direction you're just transitioning you're just growing sagittarius and so we get into your four of air this is a card saying time to rest or take a vacation allowing more time before making a decision and meditations may provide the answers so for some of you sagittarius i feel like you need to start asking yourself the question of why it is you're feeling certain um feelings or attachments to certain situations right if you're having to wait and juggle out things and figuring out um what is best for you figure out um why yeah, i don't know i feel like you kind of just need to ask yourself the question of why sagittarius why it is that you would be doing things and viewing things from a more analytical way and that way you won't um feel as bad about going into this new direction because then you would realize it's for the best for you now this four of air it suggests as well taking a break and like so it complements this two of earth energy for you sagittarius where um or being just a little bit too tense right because for some of you sagittarius it just feels like it feels like some of you guys are the loose ends that you're tying off it could be just like the closure of some projects for some of you guys right and so it does seem like some at some type of endings that some of you sagittarius are experiencing i can't help but feel like you guys are some of you guys are taking it pretty hard 
um, right now. And so for you guys, I feel like you just need to have like a moment to reset, a moment to heal. Um, don't feel like you always have to just keep on going just because you're going into a new direction, right? You kind of want to go into that new direction, Sagittarius, with as like as with a fresh start. You don't want to go into it feeling completely stressed out, right? Um, so take a moment's rest before you go into this new direction, before you go into this new journey, right? Naturally, before you start a road trip somewhere, you fill up the gas tank prior. Uh, you catch up on your sleep, right? You do all those extra things before you go into a new journey. So you set yourself up for success, right? <clears throat> and success is where I see you guys going. This is the destination, right? Your four of fire or the four of wands. This is the 1111 card, just because of how these cards are set up. It's like the wish fulfillment, right? Uh, this is a card that you, it's the portal to where it is that you, right? You see the portal. It's like walking into the portal of uh, your new life almost, right? So I read off the card. It says contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, the, the successful completion of a project. So yeah, this is where you, you guys are heading to. Um, so really, I really feel like this feeds into the narrative for some of you Sagittarius is that you guys, some of you guys are moving um, because this four of wands is some four of wands or four of fire um, is something that's kind of just there, but you have to go towards it, right? So again, really emphasizing you guys changing your space in some way to bring this forward. Um, so yeah, with this four of fire though, this is kind of just like a card of just like continue leading down the path that you're going down already, Sagittarius. Um, so so yeah, finish tying up those loose ends, right? Um, this four fire here though, right? This portal, um, I feel like for some of you guys, you just feel like you guys are like, it's like a race, against, you feel like it's a race against time, but it's just like, it's not really a race against time. Um, at this point, all you need to really do and focus on Sagittarius is opening yourself up more. Um, opening yourself up more and also, <sighs> especially with that four of air Sagittarius it does give the implication of just needing to heal a little bit I do feel like you guys got to figure out a way to just like not feel so tense right now not having so much anxiety attached to your situation because again you really want to start this new uh this fresh new start just completely in a blank slate you don't want to feel completely stressed out that's why you're tying up those loose ends right Sagittarius so it's just Accept the going into this new direction just as of like where you needed to be, like part of the motion, not necessarily like seeing this as like a failure on your part. If you're seeing this as a failure or what have you, Sagittarius, um, you have the Ace of Water or the Ace of Cups coming in. This is falling, this card says falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth. Um, an enhanced intuition and literally Sagittarius this card says a new home <laughs> like you have so many cards talking about moving in some way Sagittarius so I don't know if you guys are just coming up with the idea of just deciding to move somewhere but I do see you guys just going out into a completely different direction than what it is that you were doing before and I feel like this is kind of reminiscent of your reading from last week Sagittarius on some, on some level but it's I've never had a reading that's just been so clear on the message of like some of y'all just straight up just moving <laughs> so definitely let me know Sagittarius if some of you guys are planning on moving or like maybe even just like changing projects in some way it just feels like, yeah, I just really do feel like you guys are just going into a completely new headspace entirely. Headspace, environment, um, it just feels like you guys are just really planning just a big move. <laughs> like, it's just funny how you guys just got like all the cards that say new home. It's just crazy. But uh, now Sagittarius, let's just see, uh, let's see actually how the situation is going to pan out for you guys, right? Let's see what's going to happen in this situation. Tying up those loose ends, right? And all that, Sagittarius. Let's see what's going to be the result of that. Uh, I can see the cards right now. Well, a couple of them that fell out, Sagittarius. In full transparency, one of them is the Two of Pentacles again. So definitely, you guys are needing to make a decision on something. Um, 
similar thing to some of the other zodiac signs, but whatever it is that you keep, keep on avoiding putting on the back burner, honey, you're going to have to be forced to address it, right? You are going to have to put an end and close things off, but I'm getting ahead of myself, Sagittarius. Let me show you these cards that we have. We have the Page of Swords for you. We have the Death card, right? We have the Knight of Wands. And then we have that Two of Pentacles that I was saying before, Saji. Did I say Page of Swords? I think I did. Yeah, I did. So, yeah, Sagittarius, you guys are going to have to have those tough conversations, right? I feel like this is what it is that you're kind of weighing out. It's just like, how are you going to have that tough conversation? Um, it's almost just like you're looking at these, like each thing that you're juggling with a magnifying glass and be like, okay, do I really need to let this go? It's like you're trying to find any reason to uh, delay it or find any reason to avoid it in whatever capacity, right? This two of wands though, honey, it's going to be addressed one way or another. Page of Swords comes in. Communication, 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 right? You're going to have to have those uncomfortable conversations, Sagittarius, uh, and closing things off, right? Uh, with this death card. <laughs> I mean, I mean, well, how much more of a message can you get in terms of just like being forced to have uh, conversations that bring out, that bring forward some closure into your life in some way? Because I really do feel like you're closing off some cycles. Uh, I mean, with the death card that comes in, obviously, right? Uh, but Sagittarius, like, this is what it is that you need to have happen before you go into this Knight of Wands, which would be you, uh, Sagittarius, going into this new passion. And, right, I just feel like, yeah, before you, like, before you go down any type of path, naturally, you have to pick a path. Um, but you can't juggle both. Like, you can't take that fork in the road and try to go in between both of them, right? You have to kind of, like make a decision you have to kind of pick a side almost Sagittarius even if it feels unfair you kind of have to make that decision on which side you're going to commit to um unfortunately right because it feels like some of you Sagittarius don't want to it feels like some of you guys are trying to uh really make it work in whatever way you can but uh enough about that Sagittarius let's see what blessings are in the work in the works for you this week let's see what's in the works for you please do okay. all right so there is we have the death card it's so funny the blessings that keep on happening for all the zodiac signs this week is coming in as closures of situations and really addressing old baggage it's very funny uh death card following you the judgment card as well as the ten of wands so yeah sagittarius is you the, the blessings coming to you this week is like you're going to be finishing up tying up those loose ends right you're going to be having forced to making decisions like making those tough decisions making the tough judgment calls on um putting an end to things which seems to be ten of wands you're just addressing the stressors the anxieties the baggage uh, the heavy stuff so you can really start have a fresh start essentially right you don't want to bring the, this extra baggage these ten of wands into your new journey you don't have space for it you can't continue carrying it right this individual is extremely fatigued i mean come on now uh sagittarius so it's just like the death card comes in closures of that cycle really fo focusing in on needing to end the chapter on some stuff for you guys Sagittarius and it's I feel like you guys are going to need to make that judgment call right it's not something that's just going to happen without you making the choice like you kind of have to take the affirmative one and be like all right all right y'all like we're done here like whatever that is for you you have to be the one that calls the time of death time of death for that situation right <laughs> um but yeah, Sagittarius, uh, it's heavy energy, heavy energy, but you're definitely releasing a lot because spirit's really setting you up for this new journey, right? And so when you're making, you're clearing a lot of stuff because you're about to be welcoming in a lot of new energy, what's, what you close off, what you push away, or yeah, what it is that you get rid of, you have to fill up that space with something, right? And so you're going to be filling that up with more positive energy i see for you sagittarius so yeah now let's get a crystal uh, card for you guys this crystal st or stone that you should be working with this week that'd be best of fitting for y'all so if y'all sagittarius are looking for a reason to buy a stone this week or maybe you already have the stone 
turquoise. Turquoise is uh, your stone for this week, Sagittarius. This is number 57 equaling 23 for numerology. So look up the number three for numerology. But turquoise is a really good stone. To, it's a really good healing stone. Um, it's usually dealing with like healing with the self and really uh, helping you because the turquoise, even with you look at the picture, it's a green stone. So it's talking and usually helps healing with the heart, uh, heart chakra. Um, but I usually heal, helps heal with the heart chakra in ways of just like the relationship that you have with yourself. Um, but look up the stone yourself as well as Sagittarius so that way you can see all the properties and see how it'd be beneficial for your life in specific. But um, that's the tarot cards that I have for you this week, Sagittarius. If you enjoyed this tarot reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards resonate with you and how. Uh, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then also Sagittarius, I do weekly tarot readings for all the zodiac, si zodiac signs, not just Sagittarius. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they are not Sagittarius, I would love for you to share my videos with them and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. But until next time, Sagittarius, I love you so much. Bye.